your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. Port Lucaya Marketplace, the island's entertainment and shopping center, is now closed. Yesterday, our Megan Shepard visited the marketplace to find out what measures are in place to combat the threat of COVID-19. The Port Lucaya Marketplace has long been a place for social gathering for both residents and tourists alike. But now, as concerns grow over the global pandemic that is COVID-19, businesses within that location are amping up their measures to protect employees and visitors of the market. We, we've always encouraged people to use the hand sanitizer. We're just making sure that they actually do it this time. Uh, we have... Uh, disinfectants. We wipe the handles, we wipe the door handles, anything that people are touching we just keep wiping. Uh, so when we're not selling yogurt we're cleaning up. We have a lot of san sanitary station, uh, hand sanitizers up on site. We wipe down four or five times a day. We encourage our customers to do takeout. We eliminated at least 50 percent of our seating for inside and outside the restaurant the uh, space with the tables and chairs so they don't be close to each other and we have option now with, with the marketplace gave us an option to do curbside pickup so people could just call in their order and we just get outside to the car we have designated areas for that. We are practicing safe distances um, we're being cordial to our customers um, we're also um, disinfecting as we go so after each customer leaves the store uh, we would sanitize our hands we're washing them constantly uh, we're cleaning down the counters we're cleaning down the trays using disinfectant wipes um, Clorox bleach. We have uh, introduced on our bar hand sanitizers, we're making sure that all of our employees follow our health uh, certificate regulations with the washing of your hands, that, that's a given, you know. It'll be going on as our daily, daily plan and um, we just waiting and we will apply with whatever the government say, we will apply with whatever the government say. And um, we will apply with what Port Lucayo say also, but as it stands now, our trust is in God and he will keep us under his wing. Now you may recall the Grand Bahamas Tourism Mecca remained closed for several weeks post Hurricane Dorian. Businesses there say that now with COVID-19 as a threat, they are already feeling the negative economic side effects, a blow that this island simply doesn't need at this time. There's no tourists, people are staying away. You know, and we'll stay open as long as it's uh, we're making or at least uh, breaking even. This March, April and May is normally the busiest time of the year for the island and this is a book, a spring break, so everything's come to a, stand, a standstill right now and this month carry us through the slow months, so it's going to be a rough year for our business operators. In the, especially in terms of ministry. As you know, seeing that um, the U.S. has cancelled um, all the cruise sailings, it's really affecting the business. So right now, um, the tourist numbers have drastically declined um, on a daily basis. We're not seeing many persons, maybe one or two. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a big difference because a lot of the ship workers are going back home. No, the, the harbor is basically closed for all intensive purposes. So they're definitely a decline in business. Representatives at this jewelry store say that shipments coming into the island have also been an issue. A lot of things are uh, hold up on the U.S. end of it and then also um, here a lot of companies because we import everything and just like Bandora jewelry yeah it's been kind of difficult to get it in in a timely fashion. And now that landmark legislation has been passed that could pave the way for emergency measures to take effect. Residents are simply waiting to see when or if businesses will close, or when or if a curfew will be implemented. These men say that if necessary, they support strict measures to stop the spread of COVID-19. And if there's a case of, you know what I mean, to take measures more serious, you know what I mean, if the government has to put us on lockdown, I guess, I guess you have to go on lockdown, you know what I mean, just for precaution. It would affect my pocket, but I mean, I understand the larger picture. It's for the betterment of the country. So, you know, certain things you have to do. Megan Shepard, CNS Network News. 
Now, our news team also spoke to straw market vendors yesterday before the closing of the Port Lacari marketplace. They say they were indeed taking the necessary health precautions. We just go with the flow. We, we don't prepare for it. We got sanitizer, we got bleach, we got uh, lye salts. We wash we hand for every money we touch. We wash we hand for every person that come into your place. You spray it out. I have a lot of sanitary stuff. I have um, the Perel wipes. I have um, hydrogen peroxide. I have the alcohol. I have um, pine salt again, and I have bleach. For out here, we have the Lysol spray because you know it's it's like it's scary because you don't know who has whatever. But um, I'm playing it safe because I'm leaving in a few minutes. I'm going back home. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work yourself getting sick over making a few dollars, and then the people that's coming, we don't know what they have. And Olds also expressed concern about what she considers is price gouging on cleaning supplies. She says that Grand Bahamians are in no position to be taken advantage of at this time. Everything is so astronomically high. And that's another thing they should be checking on because you have one gallon of pine salt for $20. And I think it's so unfair to the Grand Bahama especially because we just came out of Dorian and you know we were ever down to, in, to, to, to entrust that on the, on the Bahamian people in Grand Bahama especially. Well, the local spas are now closed, but yesterday it was busy as usual as they took special precautions to protect their clients. Natalia Hall popped into a local spa to find out what measures are in place now as a result of COVID-19. The spa is a place that prides itself on making clients look and feel their best, but it also involves close contact with clients. Well, here on Grand Bahama, the owner of Renew Day Spa, Crystal Long, says she decided that she will not close her doors, but instead take the necessary precautions to keep staff members and customers safe. We've put a policy and we stated it on Instagram and Facebook that if anybody is sick, that they should notify us and we will um, reschedule their appointments and that they should seek medical attention. We have alcohol, we have bleach, we have um, BioServe, um, Microlium. We, we use a lot of dis disinfecting products just so that our customers feel and know that we value their, their health. And we try to keep um, hand sanitizers in all the rooms. We wipe down the doorknobs. We spray down the beds. We even clean up the pipes. This nail technician says she asks all of her customers to wash their hands before she conducts a service. And for other technicians, she says it's important to ensure that your tools are kept clean. Making sure that you clean your nippers, your pushers, all those things often, especially after a client. If they've been sitting there a while, I'll definitely say you try to sanitize them again before going to use it as a client because bacteria do build up. The owner says earlier this month she called a special meeting with all of her employees on the COVID-19 pandemic to ensure that all employees are on the same page. I feel like everybody should have a meeting with their staff and just make them more aware. Let them know this is something serious. Even though we're in the Bahamas, I haven't heard of any cases. I could be wrong in Freeport, but in the event that it does happen, um, we will discuss if we need to close our doors for, for a moment, but you know we don't see the need to once we're practicing proper um, safety measures. Now, health experts within the industry also say it is important for owners to post signage reminding guests and employees about the importance of hygiene standards, as well as constantly sharing precautionary measures to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Italia Hall, ZNS Network News. Stay with us, there's more right after this break.